Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Maria Lourdes V. Escobar and I will be your host and doc on duty for today. Ngayon po umaga ay pag-uusapan natin at tatalakay natin ang concern ng isa nating televiewer na nagnangalang Miss Jenny Caparas. At ito ang kanyang concern. Hello po, Doc. Good day po. Tanong ko lang po sana kung anong klasing doktor po ba ang pupuntahan ko. May bukol po kasi ako sa dibdib at may times po, bigla-bigla na lang po itong sumasakit at kumikirot. Nagwa-worry na po kasi ako, kaya gusto ko po sana magpa-check up. Kaso, hindi ko po alam kung saan doktor ako pupunta. Sana po mapansin nyo itong message ko ito. Thank you po and God bless. Okay, Miss Jenny, para masagot natin ang iyong concern, nandito ngayong kapiling natin ang isang general surgeon from De Los Santos Medical Center in the person of Dr. Rochelle Elizabeth Tayat. Doc, ano po bang diagnosis natin kay Miss Jenny? Usually kasi, ang mga pasyente natin na nagko-complain ng may bukol sa dede, ang pinaka-best na mapuntahan nila is uh, surgeon para ma-examine yung breast nila, makuha yung history nila, and then makapag-form ng impression kung anong klaseng bukol yung meron sila. Between 19 to 25 years old, ang usual cause niyan is uh, benign na bukol meaning hindi siya kumakalat or hindi siya masamang bukol kasi ang pain is more of uh, symptoms na mga breast lumps na benign. Very small chance na pwedeng masamang bukol siya. So, it is still important na pag may bago kang symptom na nararamdaman like that na hindi mo pa na feel before, na pumunta ka na sa doktor para ipatingin and ipa-examine. Ang usual causes ng ng breast lumps in a female, if benign, usually hormonal changes in a female's body. So, hindi natin makokontrol yon because it's inherent with females. Ano, nangyayari talaga sa atin, pag nagkaka-period tayo, tumataas yung horm nagkakaroon ng hormonal changes. Pag nawawala, bumabagsak. So, nagkakaroon ng breast changes every month, every cycle. Pero pag cancerous kasi, ang pinaka-common na risk factors is cigarette smoking and then exposure to certain drugs or radiation. And then, uh, there's a family, uh, family history. Pag strong family history, malaki yung possibility that you may have, may develop cancer. And then, there's also the type of cancer that is sporadic. Meaning, kahit wala kang family history, it will occur bigla-biglaan sa'yo. So, it's really hard to predict. So, important na yung mga nararamdaman mo is huwag mong sasarilihin pakita mo sa doktor kasi sa for Filipino women, one of the leading causes of death is breast cancer. So, ang gusto po natin is makatch early kung meron man na small possibility na pagmulan niya ng breast cancer. Ms. Caparas, my final advice to you would be to immediately go to a general surgeon to discuss your case. If you don't know uh, anyone, you could drop by at the Los Santos Medical Center anytime and ask for a general surgeon who is available at that time. Thank you, Doc, for sharing your expert opinion with us. At sa'yo, Ms. Jenny, sana nasagot at natugunan ni Dr. Tayag ang iyong concern. At sa lahat ng ating mga televiewers out there, kung meron po kayong health issues na gusto niyong ma-address at mabigyang pansin, just send us a message through our Facebook page, Rx+. Plus. This has been Dr. Maria Lourdes B. Escobar, your doc on duty for today.